that we have uh, Mr. Cosmos Nukwe uh, back on with us now via Skype. Thank you so much for rejoining us. Uh, I, I had asked uh, Mr. Nukwe uh, how this pandemic has affected inter and intrastate uh, uh, trade and investment potentials in the southeast of Nigeria. Well, um, in the southeast of Nigeria, we know our business is um, mostly commerce. And um, Abia, for example, of other larger uh, community in, that, in the southeast, you find out that our economy in the southeast thrives mostly on small and medium-scale enterprise. I'm talking about the many tailors sewing for customers within and outside Nigeria, the many shoe makers who shoes serve other African countries. As of today, in the southeast. These businesses are no longer flourishing because people are afraid of missing up with others. We have communities and committees that are moving around within our communities where people trade and marketplaces to ensure enforcement of protocols. We have most of our interstate borders um, just locked down by this way, to ensure that buyers and sellers could not even find uh, market relative safety for doing businesses in the first instance in most of the states in the southeast. With COVID-19 scare, it is obvious that people are no longer willing to leave their houses as they would have done before. When they don't come out, how would they sell? The direct implication is low turnout and also what I call overstrain on our internally generated revenue. You are aware that with the way our local economy is structured, we are in for serious challenges mm -hmm. in the whole of the South. Because Southeast is known for commerce, Southeast is known for trade, Southeast is known for their industrial nature in manufacturing. So trade and commerce will no longer be mostly face-to-face -face transactions. So our ministry, the Ministry of Trade and Investment, just like in Abia, is a testifying effort towards development of what we call virtual store, e-commerce, electronic trading, in a tag platform, which we call it Abia Trading Place Online. Okay. So as much as possible, we are play, we will place products of these traders on the web for billions of their customers all over African communities and states cannot be able to have a way to buy something and uh, also sustain themselves. This is what we are constantly working upon now to see a way of coming through. He, he is and uh, that is looking towards post COVID nineteen. Um, realities. Now, now that there has been an ease in the movement, interstate movements, uh, how how is the, is the situation likely to change? Well, um, yeah, the situation, the situation must surely change because people are not too conversant with process selling and uh, engagement of logistic companies to either transport their goods from place one state to other, which is what they have been doing. So we have put in place measures so that uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs will now access little loans from microfinance banks uh, on a little of no interest. And we also have some strategic place of funding to drive businesses now that the borders have opened so that our people will come back to the reality of um, trading in the most convivial um, uh, um, nature which they are used to. Mm. The, the amount and the, mm. for now, we are just trading only three times in a, in a week. Okay. There, there must have been some uh, little um, benefits from the entire lockdown. A bar in Abia State is known for its uh, commerce, for is known for 
so many things in terms of productivity, in terms of the production of new things. In fact, at the time, they were talking about the uh, PPEs uh, being manufactured in Aba. Uh, how, how has this, how has this, uh, the pandemic really helped in motivating people to be more uh, innovative and productive in that sector? Well, I, I told you before now, what the traders engaged on before now is what we call um, process selling. And we engage, they engage uh, many logistics companies that uh, transport goods for them instead of having this face-to-face -face selling, which was the bed of uh, businesses before now. And uh, with the opening of the borders, we are also faced with a very strong challenge with this opening of interstate movement, we also face with a great challenge because our state is filled um, with um, micro and um, medium scale traders who on daily basis receive customers from all over Nigeria and across Nigerians that come to buy their wares from uh, either about being the commercial now center or any other markets within Omai, the state capital. So we are now faced with a challenge of stepping up our acts on the implementation of these protocols. And for now, we have engaged all the markets, chairmen and the traders to make sure that the necessary protocols are provided in the markets, whereby sanitizers must be in every shop, buckets of water must be in every shop, not, not more than one person in a, shop, in a given shop at any given time, Customers must go in one after the other. In the entrances of the market, we are trying to reduce ambush trading, ambush marketing, people rushing to touts to sell first before others. We are trying to checkmate those. And then we have a whole lot of work in our hands now. The, we set up 19-man COVID-19, COVID-19, uh, um, 17-man COVID-19 committee in various markets, uh, almost all the markets to make sure that they supervise and implement these protocols. It's really going to be not too easy for us now because of these challenges on hand and uh, the opening of the assets and uh, borders is going to be a huge challenge for a tribe of uh, uh, businesses in Abia State. T tell us a little bit more about this, your proposed e-commerce platform that you intend to open and to boost uh, business and investments in the state. Yeah, the e the e commerce the e commerce uh, platform which we call Abia Trading Place Online uh, uh, is created to be a kind of online trade base whereby traders will place their products on the web for millions of their customers to buy, and the ministry will now stand in as a guarantor to some of these uh, traders because in the platform we have their address, we have the phone number. We have where they stay, we have their line number, we have the goods they manufacture, and we will place it on the online for people to see. In the back door, we have all the details of the trader. And once a customer initiated business interest, the ministry will also know that the customer who is buying from a trader in Abia State is guaranteed to avoid fraud. So the development of that virtual store called Abia Trading Place is guaranteed by the ministry. Okay. All right, that, 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 that's a very good development. At least uh, uh, traders will now, or buyers will now uh, uh, have the confidence that the, your ministry is going to guarantee whatever transactions they'll be having with individual traders. Yes. And also we have the feedback mechanism whereby if there is any trace of fraud or goods paid not supplied so that the trader can now report directly to the ministry's portal and will go after the chairman of the market, the zonal chairman of the market, who also guarantees the ministry of the identity of the trader and will go after them to make sure that justice is being delivered to the buyer. All right, we want to thank you immensely, Dr. Cosmo Sunukwe, for uh, joining us. Uh, but before you go, let's uh, quickly ask you, uh, 
um, how the state, uh, you may not be a member of the task force in that state, but how is the state actually managing the situation on ground at the moment since uh, the PTF says there is now community spread in almost every state of the Federation? Yes, I'm a member of the state uh, COVID-19 committee. We have worked um, assiduously and relentlessly with to make sure, relentlessly to make sure that the spread of this virus is not a pandemic that will run out of control in our own state. The chairman of the committee, being the secretary to the state government, uh, Barrister Chris uh, Ezem, Walk around the clock. We have border patrols before now that the borders have been opened. We have set up committees, micro committees in all the markets in Abia State to check inflows of people into the markets and also to take their test them properly before entering the market. We mounted roadblocks in various micro roads, what we call major and micro roads that leads into the state. It was an effort that we fought. But you see, this pandemic, sometimes to me, I begin to think if it is spiritual. Because at the time, you find out that how it creeps in, despite all our human effort, doubts all imagination. But in all, I know too well that the effort of Abia State Governor Victor Kezipazo was an effort that did to be commended. I know when others were recording high number of uh, infected uh, victims, our state was very low. But just in a sudden manner, we started having some influx from people who reside outside Abia. How they smuggle themselves in becomes a nightmare to me today. And then we started having increase in numbers. But I know that with the effort put together, the churches, their efforts towards fighting this, the market places being our mostly targeted area, and the effort we put in for them to maintain the necessary protocol towards tackling this menace. I'm sure that now that the borders have also been thrown open, we still have challenge on our hands to manage. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Cosmos Ndukwe, Commissioner for Trade and Investment, Abia State. Thank you for your time and uh, indeed for uh, providing us with this information so of Abia State uh, on putting chair. in place an e-commerce platform, Abia Trading Place Online. I'm sure that one or two other states might just be interested in doing this, uh, doing exactly what you are doing now so that uh, uh, trading and business transactions can go on uh, uh, seamlessly as it were. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you and God bless you. Thank Good you. morning, Nigeria. All right, Mr. Cosmos Sundukwe there is the Commissioner for Trade and Investment, Abia State. And uh, of course, that might just be a very proper place now to join Nancy Naji, uh, who is going to be uh, taking a, a deeper dive into the economic and business aspect of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic in the world. Abia State says.